Hi brothers and sisters, this is John Casilag and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's scripture meditation is taken from the 11th chapter of Matthew, verses 20 to 24. This is a hard passage that basically says, Repent, for your actions have consequences. What does a community do when they receive the privilege of the presence of Jesus in their midst? This is the Jesus who was the bearer of the good news, the news of salvation. This is the Jesus who had allowed the blind to see again, caused the lame to walk, allowed lepers to be cleansed, the deaf to hear, and even the dead to be raised. You would expect that in the presence of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, their hearts would turn to Him. But this wasn't the case in the towns of Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum. They saw with their own eyes the mighty deeds of Jesus. They heard him preach, may even believe that he was in fact the Messiah. But instead of using what they heard and what they saw to gain and deepen their faith and to repent of their sinfulness, they just went about their business, perhaps as if Jesus was simply some kind of talent who would come, perform, and go. One could imagine Jesus fully God, but also fully human, get utterly frustrated that these people refused to change their ways. And so he reproached them. The word reproach means to express disappointment or disapproval. Jesus addressed them, all of them, with a stern warning that judgment will be upon them if they refuse to turn away from their old lives, if they refuse to repent and to believe. The reproach of Jesus to the people of Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum might apply to many of us today. And in today's passage, brothers and sisters, it may even be seen as a message that is intended to strike fear. After all, no one wants to end up in hell or to suffer destruction like what happened in Sodom. My take, however, is that it is also a message of hope. A message of a second chance. After all, why would Jesus bother to call them out? If not out of his great desire to spare them the consequences of their actions. And as Jesus called them out, so does he call us out today. Out of his great love for us, he also reproaches us. But he also calls us out to change. God will never desire for us to end up anywhere else but in heaven, our true home. God will never desire for us to have anything less than the very best of what He has to offer, eternal life. And as Jesus gave them the freedom to choose Him, so is His freedom available to you and me today. Continue to hope, brothers and sisters. Continue to choose Jesus. He's the best choice you and I could ever hope to make. If you're blessed today, do like and share this page so that many more may hear about the great love of God. God bless you.